what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. As always, check out the website. Sign up for free. The forums are rocking and rolling over there. Always some good stuff coming up. People adding their pictures, swapping. We got the Facebook group going now. Um, also, just a regular Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash what's up in the sky. And uh, the groups is facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash what's up in the sky and some interesting stuff i just saw this when i was just browsing around the midnight planets app today um 983 some of the new souls that came down and some interesting stuff in there um here's how this came from nasa what in the world is this thing whatever it is it's pretty interesting it's got um very intricate piece for just if it's just a rock sitting out here in the middle of nowhere also down here we've got some interesting rocks uh well, some interesting pieces. This one comes up and over. Um, let's check some of this thing out. This was the main anomaly here. I just got, I saw this. And I was like, this thing is pretty cool. Um, then I was looking through the whole picture. Then I came up, found some more stuff over here. And uh, it's like you could just pick out pretty much any of these, <laughs> and you could go have a, have a field day finding anomalies. And I, I asked you, like I said, I've given you guys. If you search how to find anomalies on your phone and stuff like that, then we've got some really cool one up here. Um, coming off these rocks right up this almost looks like a uh some sort of downspout or something along those lines something something's interesting going on up here on this hill there's a leftover of something here's like a cross that was run through here at one time um as well as some some look at the uh geometry in this piece right here i said this won't be a long video i'm gonna keep this one short tomorrow i'm checking out taking my mom to see walk off the earth tomorrow um they're a canadian band can't wait to see them uh, they were the ones that did five guitars, one peeps, hit, hit huge on the internet. Look at that little guy. I know my Mars Alive buddies, and uh, all my guys can see the Mars. People are going to say that looks like a little Mars guy. I think that's pretty much a, a couple of rocks there. But sometimes the stuff you look at it and you really can't tell the difference. Here's how it came from NASA. Let me show you the overall shot here. Um, this is just the area where we're rolling through. I'm um, taking quick pictures of this area. I got a whole bunch more to show you. Hopefully I get a couple uh, couple videos done before I leave out. Also, let's check out this stuff down here. Here's where you get it from at NASA. Um, here's right on the website. Just basically, if you're not on YouTube, click the YouTube button down there on the bottom. And uh, it'll take you to YouTube. Hit the description. Hit the link. You don't have to write that down. I just provided all there for you. And if you go check out the website, whatsupinthesky.com, I, I enhance a bunch of this stuff and put up the pictures for you because it's just some interesting, interesting stuff going on. So let's see if we can't maybe uh, use my tool here a little bit just to try and uh, sharpen it up, a little sharpen tool. What's interesting about this little piece, let me try and make it bigger in case you have the, the cell phone. Um, this whole picture's got blurring on it. It's missing stuff. Look, see, this is what I can't stand, what I, I do believe NASA does. Check out here how it's real fine. And all of a sudden, just right here, just all of a sudden, the, the fineness goes away. And it's being done right here as well. And just a little strip blur. But here, check out. You've got a real intricate pattern here. Whatever it is, it comes out and down. Um, comes back up. It's 90 degree angle here, 90 degree angle there, and it comes up into three little pieces, and you can't see where they exactly go to because you don't know if it's going past this little blur blotch mark. See the the difference there? Let me see if when I w did the hardcore, um, this you can see a little bit more. See how it's much blurrier up there? Uh, this was one of the ones that I had used uh, where I had blurred it first. Basically, sometimes if you blur these first, you get some of these, uh, I call them blinds out of them, the effects out. But check out what's just laying around on the ground here. This piece right here, you look like you could basically take a uh, take a line, draw it in half, and flip it over. So you've got perfect symmetry in something that's just kind of randomly sitting around on the surface of a planet that's supposed to have uh, no life, you know, barren barren dry old cold planet um with some interesting artifacts on it so what do you guys think about this thing i really don't know what to make of it i mean it almost looks like it was a piece of something or maybe some statue head or something but as you come down here they're just more interesting things here right there you got like a little perfectly white type little spirit you can see the other side has been kind of just blurred out so you don't get to see it all i think it's just going right to there but look at the difference in the color i mean you can see how it came from nasa let me show you how it came from nasa 
just like that. So the blur is in there. Um, you can see the mark actually goes all the way. This is what goes up and through uh, this piece, you know, that comes out and over. So let's check back out in here. Nice little piece down here. There was what looked like up at the top a couple. Uh, I noticed before some. Where are these things? Maybe they're not at the top. Let me check this one out down here. Check this piece. Another interesting piece just sitting there. These pieces right here. Um, you see these a lot of times at the bottom of these rock pieces. But look where they've got the sand. This is why I think that they're putting the fake sand in things. Um, a lot And the blur. You know, So they're really doctoring these pictures up a lot. Look at the straightness of the 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 blur, and look what's behind it. Some of it. it almost looks like they left what's behind it, but it's squared off. So you can see where it squares it off and just cuts it off. Sloppy job. I mean, like I said, I've said this before. It looks like whoever's doing it is just painting it with a stick. Um, I mean, look at this is supposedly sand here, um, and look at all the blocks in it and just the blockiness of it. You know what? I want to run this. What's this? This what do we got right here? We've got some backwards writing. I want to run this through Photo Forensics just to see if it uh, the whole piece looks like it should. I mean, the whole piece should look the same throughout it. But look at some of these strange pieces on the ground. So let's just run this thing real fast. Here is the let's copy. We do Photo Forensics, and I should have had this done before, but I didn't. So we're going to do it together so you guys can see how to do it as well. It's always good to show that. Um, here's the, as always, yep, yeah, look where all the sand is. It's nothing but, it's a whole different resolution. The uh, Up here, it's not really that bad. You can see some uh, up here right at the top. There's some different resolution in it. Where is it at? Up around the sand. And ooh, look at that. Some straight lines and stuff that, that are really cut into it. Look at that. These couple right there. Down here, you've got some straight lines in this that just totally shows a whole different resolution. And we know these things are being saved to 70% watch. 70% for the mass cams. Um, and they didn't really do much to that other than there's a little smudge on it. But check the difference out. Um, I don't know, guys. Comment below. What do you guys think? What's up in the sky? 37. Like I said, this isn't one of those, oh my god, knock you over ones. But when you get stuff this blurry back and it's got this much fog, not fog, but like, uh, you know, junk just scattered about. And you really, they, when you, some of it looks like it's chopped off and stuff like that. You start wondering how these pics are being made and where they're being made. I tell you what, the more and more I see it, I wonder. But see how you've got your cross here? I mean, it's it's just looks like a cross. I'm not saying it's a cross. You know, I'm just saying it's a cross-looking feature. It actually looks like a pipe that goes down into this piece right here at the end as well. You got some 90 degree angles up here. Down around the corner, you got some pieces here. So, oh, look at this. Now tell me there's a good that good one right here. Look, we've got, this is where I'm talking about symmetry. We've got two circles right here that are almost perfect in a figure eight. If you cut it in half, it almost looks like it'd be folded over again on the top of each other. Hope you guys can see that. Let me see if the uh, you can still see it in that one too. So, whole lot of good stuff. But what I'm really interested, what I want you guys to comment about, and I'm gonna make sure I'm getting off here now. Make this one short because there's a bunch of other ones I want to try and get done before I get out tomorrow and uh, hit the concert up. Bam! I'm gonna make it as big as I can on the screen. What do you guys think that is? Comment below. Let your buddy Will from What's Up in the Sky know. Love you guys all for watching the videos. I can't say that enough. Um, I, we're about to roll over 7 million views. Never thought I'd make it that high. I never thought 20,000 of you guys would watch these videos or, or, or anything like that. I can't believe people still watch me talk So or, and watched, <laughs> listen to me talk. Well, I guess you could watch me talk up in my little corner. But, uh, you know, and watch what's going on. It's flattering. Thank you, guys. All the wonderful comments and all the haters. You know, thank you for driving more traffic to my channel. Much love.